Naomi Campbell, Heidi Klum, Tyra Banks, and more recently, Gigi Hadid and Kendall Jenner. These supermodels have become household names practically. Uh, now a local woman wants to join that list in a rather unconventional way. Evrod Kasimi introduces us to her. For the past six years, Ritu Dave has been taking pictures all over Metro Detroit. Models are like a form of art to me. Stick them on a foreground that's beautiful and there you go, you created like a masterpiece. Today, she's sky high on top of the Z parking garage in downtown Detroit for a private photo shoot with an up and coming model. It takes to be a model is you have to be able to do anything the photographer tells you to do. You can't be a diva. I don't like to call myself a model because I'm four foot 11. 27 year old Ruma Styles is getting ready for work Thursday morning. She's a software tester, but her heart is in fashion. What I love about makeup is that your face is like a canvas. You get to play with all these paint brushes. Before she heads into work, Ruma heads to downtown Detroit, teaming up with photographer Ritu Dave. Do you want to be a model? I would love to be. It's so funny saying model because I'm 411 again. Um, yeah, I would love to be a brand ambassador. But even at just under five feet tall, this software tester isn't just any model. She was one of 10,000 who applied to become Miss Jet Set 2017 and land on the magazine's cover, like Melania Trump and Charlize Theron in past issues. This is amazing. We made the semifinals, top 60 uh, international. So we got there, but that's where I stopped. Uh, I couldn't make it from fourth place to first place in semifinals. It was all bikini models, by the way, and I was the only one who was covered. Ruma was the only model wearing a hijab, a veil or cloth worn by some Muslim women as a symbol of modesty. A competition like this would be frowned upon, and she didn't want to compromise her faith for her career. It comes down to just making sure that you carry yourself in a modest aspect and hair beautifies you 10 times more than with the hijab. If you're wearing like a hijab, you can be wearing like a bikini with the hijab, you know, so it doesn't work that way. Even though she didn't win, she wants to be one of the few hijabi models and a brand ambassador. How common is that? It's not that common, but it's becoming common, especially in Michigan. It just made me want to keep pushing and that's the Detroit in me. Let's talk about your parents. Yes. Supportive, okay. not supportive? They weren't supportive at all at first. And, you know, they told me, they're like, if you want to do this, we can't have you here. I looked at my father and I was like, tell me this one more time and I will leave. And he's like, he said it out of anger. And what I did was that night, I booked a room at the Henry in Dearborn. <laughs> so when I kept fighting for it, that's when they were like, all right, she really wants this. What do you want to say to another young girl that wears a hijab and they have modeling aspirations, what would you say to them? I would say just start it, go do it, fight for what you want to do. Doesn't matter what you wear on top of your head or not, we're all out there to show our style, our sense of fashion. In the meantime, Ruma continues to dream big. Hopefully one day be on the cover of Vogue. And right now, Ruma is looking for brands to work with here in Metro Detroit. You can keep up with her on social media where she has over 44,000 followers. Just go to clickondetroit.com. Evrod Casimi, Local 4. Good luck to her. She's lovely, of course, but she's also got a great spirit about her. She does. She? She's got grit. Like she yeah. said, that's the Detroit in her, <laughs> that's and right. that's true. <laughs>